bored today at the virus, just like everybody else. Uh, I'm not going for a ride. That's why I'm having a few Coronas. What am I going to do today? Well, it's not a bad day. It's like no wind. But uh, I live in Taiwan. It's lots of hills. So I'm going to show you a few tips on uh, what you should be looking for if you're in a mountainous area. So here we go. There's a few things to look at. You don't need a mask while you're riding, but you know how it is. First thing is light wheels. You don't need aero, the big deep section wheels, just as light as you can afford. It's gonna make it easier for uphill acceleration. Lightweight everything if you can afford it. This is the crank set, or the chain set, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, it has two chain rings. You want as small as you can get. It's called a compact crank set, or a chain set. 50 on the outside, 34 on the inside. At the back, this is called the cassette. Here you want bigger, that'll make it easier to pedal up here. This is the Shimano option. Had it, works fine. This is an 1134. You'll need this in the mountains. This is the SRAM or SRAM option, as I like to say. I actually went with the 1136. Now, for both of these rear cassettes, make sure that you get a long cage derailleur. It works no problem. That's the cage there. This is the GS version. Just ask your shop if you're not sure. Big on the back, small on the front. That'll give you easier gears. Why? Why do you want easier gears? When you're cranking yourself up a hill, you want to be spinning as much as you can, or if you can. 80 minimum RPM, if you can, again. Don't be pushing big gears. Stuff like this, of course, you have to crank on it. This, 6-7%, you'll thank me for it. This, well, it's next to impossible. That's about it. One more thing. Anyway, building a hill climbing bike. If you like, like and subscribe. My name's Scott. Take it easy and stay safe.